All right, folks, you expressed some interest, actually you expressed a lot of interest in coming along for the ride to uh, go look at some new trucks, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. My brother joined us, he just showed up. All right, hon, love you, I'll see you in a bit. The time has come to uh, trade the old Ford in, so let's go do some shopping, I say. Thompson Chrysler, Dodge Jeep and Ram. That is one sexy ass hand. Oh, look at that. Holy moly. There's just tons of them, man. That's obviously uh, the red butter around here, eh? It's gotta be trucks. Look at them all. Holy shit. These boys plan on moving some units. Right on. A lot of black trucks. Kind of makes me almost think about uh, opting for a different color truck. I was thinking a black deer truck, but my God, there's so many driving around Kingston right now. It's you unbelievable. This one looks pretty damn nice too. That looks really nice, you know that? Yeah. The gray actually looks really nice. Much better than my Ford gray with that black two-tone. Yeah, beauty. I think the two-tone sets them off. I really do. I like it. they got on display out front boys they got some colors is that a rubicon jeep up there troy oh this is this white one is ridiculous big fan well we're just looking for a half ton could be a 1500 series could be a rebel i mean so yeah here we are boys jim thompson chrysler and this one right away caught both my eye and my brother's because it's got both the big 12 inch den. Look at that. Hey, what do you think of that? Yeah, look up. Look up. Yeah, this is unreal. So they're boasting the biggest cabs and the most leg room, eh? Jump in the back there, Troy. Yeah, you got leg room for days in here. This yeah. is ridiculous. Wow, man. So some of you are probably wondering why we decided to go Ram. Well, my brother's a big fan. He's got a couple of them and they've been problem free so far and the wife's using one as a work truck, which is good because you actually get real functional use out of it and uh, feedback so far. Nothing but love, eh? Yeah, but what really got me is the interior package, boys. It just feels like you're in a luxury truck. Yeah, well, we'll get back to you guys here when we, uh, I think we'll go steal one of the uh, sales guys here, maybe Dean over there and uh, go for a test drive. Sweet little 19 Sport, check that out. We asked if we could get one with the uh, the large den to check out and uh, meet Sean. How you doing fellas? Jim Thompson Chrysler. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Troy was showing me that earlier, man. I didn't even know it existed. Yeah. So is that something you could just add on if you don't have it already? Retrofit to your truck? Get into your, uh, do your business and then come back in. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Killer. Nice. Assisted tailgate. Oh yeah. Wow, this thing is sharp. Sharp, man. Very excited. Yeah, it doesn't even almost look like a screen. It looks like a screen from here, but this is just how nice their screens are. So there's a way to split it into two screens. I didn't, I didn't spend this much money, so <laughs> I don't know how to work that. <laughs> That's Looking at cool. it again, I kind of wish I did spend the money. Wow. This is a super sharp truck. All that leg room. It's 
the boys got the mats pulled out so you can see everything tie downs this i really like the whole flat cargo style thing i mean ram you guys are just killing it in every which way it's unbelievable how much attention to detail they have given these trucks a little bit of storage divider underneath the seats just mint there's all your usbs flash ports like we were talking about great man this is really nice sport or off-road well let's check out the sport eh? we'll check out the sport first for sure digging this truck man digging the styling cues there's no doubt in my mind man that ram is kind of killing it in style for sure Troy's mentioning blacked out tips. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. You'll be amazed at how quiet it is in the interior. The foam, Anything's going to be more quiet than my old it's, Ford. It's for simple sure. things, but even the, even the foam inserts for the cup are awesome. Oh, they're foam, aren't they? Yep. You pop right out. Oh, yeah. So they're soft. Yep. Position them in the other spots if you want it, type of deal. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Go have a what? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> right on. Dean seems like a pretty funny guy. I like it. Good sense of humor. Just pulling out to Ford. Asked me if we wanted to have a little pull off. I say yeah. I see. Oh, all power. Uh, not used to that, boys. The Ford is rather primitive in that manner. You know what? I think I'm gonna come up even just a little bit more, and I might bring myself down in the truck. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, that's killer. Now let's get out of here. Paying attention, staring at the truck. Ooh, ooh she's up here in the gate. Oh, she's got a little more. <laughs> she's got a little more in her than the 4.6. I'll say that. Power of the old Ford, but uh, she darn near. This thing's pushing close to 400 horsepower and uh, well over 400 torque. So, yeah, she's definitely a little heavier just by touching the gas pedal. You, uh, she's like the pull pole, she lunges. Mm -hmm. That's hey? true. Yeah. This black, gray one, whatever would have probably matched my Polaris, but now I gotta make my bike match my truck. Check out the old 12 inch 10 boys. Troy's just as two other members, his song Thinking Out Loud is certified Ooh, wow. 12 times platinum, oh, a feat shit. that has only been accomplished by okay, okay, Love okay. The Way You Lie by Eminem and Rihanna. We get it, we get it. It vibrates everything. It's got a lot of ampage. Holy crap, eh? Let's feel, uh, feel a little bit of the excel. Oh, oh, geez. She's got a little uh, hesitation, and when she kicks, she kicks. Look at you, you were, you were trying to lean back like it was pinning you there. Oh, okay. You're doing that on purpose. Oh, cool. Hey, what'd you do? Let me just enjoy this. Man, does it ever feel good? That's a happy boy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this thing fits nice. You feel like a real boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, my old Ford was good to me, but... Um, this thing looks like it's gonna be luxury. This doesn't have a, an e-locker in this one. So there's no locker in this one? No locker in this one. Okay. I'm sure you can get it on a sport with an I'm sure you can get that option, but I kinda like that option. I really like that option to be honest with you. I want yeah. the uh, rear axle to be the long belt that we uh, Rebels don't come with uh, auto four though. So it's a four wheel drive, four wheel low, or two wheel. So automatic four-wheel drive does not come in a Rebel, I don't think. Okay. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's more about four by four. Yeah, yeah, it's as I expected, man. Fit and finish is top quality. Like it's smooth. It brakes really nicely. Acceleration, obviously, there's no problem there. No problem there. Sounds nice too, man. Feedback from the engine. This right here. Kind of, uh, what you just do? You put her in tow haul, did you? Yeah. Well, that changed the feel of it considerably. Yeah. Yeah, 
because it holds a gear longer or whatever. Yeah, just so it's that. nice with uh, your bike or whatever. You can, you know, it saves on your tranny and stuff. With, like, toll all right. Yeah, I, I yeah. use that. And you can shift that on the fly, no problems? Yeah, no problems. Turning radius. That is a long truck. Yeah, so that's to be expected. Ford the same way, boys. So well, maybe I'll show you how to turn. Well, no, my truck. it's not my truck. And, uh, yes, brother, I'm sure this thing can turn on a dime just like that X3. <laughs> yes, it can. Right? Just yeah. do the old power turn is what you do. Well, I was hooked on the looks, and I was hooked on the styling, and I'm hooked on the interior, and drivability feels great. That's there, and it sounds This is, uh, really low to the ground. judging by the options here, this is, uh, when I can see, this is a non-air suspension one. So right. if it's air suspension, that'll help with your load too, to level out your truck, yeah. which is always nice. Because uh, part of uh, the sacrifice of owning a Dodge with uh, coilover springs in the rear is they do tend to sag a little bit with the load. But that's the sacrifice for such a good ride. It'll have all the fancy stuff. Um, uh, right here at home. Oh, there it is right there. Top card, bottom card. Yep. So it'll, uh, very cool. So you can put your media up top. Yep. Very cool. Phone down below. Navigation down below. Phone oh. down below. We all have all hands free texting, everything. Yeah, I'm, I, the exhaust sounds mint, man. The exhaust sounds yep. really good. and I like it very smooth operation but uh, yeah I really curious to check out the air ride that's in these units and uh, I think this one's a little lower to the ground for me. Was that yeah, a lot of these that's the same gear in? So it is uh, same as a Rebel. Okay. It's a 392's. So it's your, it's your standard how I many? 17 amp ribs. I got 18. They made the brakes bigger. That's awesome. Well, my friend, that is a beautiful truck. You like that? Yep, I do. But I'm thinking we need to try an off-road model. Okay? Yeah, I'll just pull it up. Uh, I'm going to pull it up to the back here. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go around. Right on. Oh, there's the wife. She's wondering how we're making out. Still there filming. Of course I'm filming, baby. I got to get it all on film. The boys wanted to come along, so what the hell? Let's check out a rebel. Let's check out a rebel. We'll be home soon, honey. We'll be home soon. Look at the bike, eh? Isn't that looking killer? The old Ford's done all right, though. She's done all right. Look at this thing. 
Yeah, look at the clearance, Troy. Yeah. Look at the height. Yeah, that's probably not even adjusted all the way up. Well, see, you know, the sport's nice. I like it, but let's face it. We're going to be hauling trailers and crap into crappy places. Right? Just going to be out with the old and possibly in with the new. That is a 2019 Ram Rebel. And uh, it's got all the amenities, I do believe. That's uh, raising up. Raising up. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to make my little call like. Yeah, buddy. That looks awesome. Is that a little more of your flavor? Oh, buddy. Yeah. I mean, we're going to, in the end, there's going to be a bike in the back weighing it down. There's maybe sure. going to be trailers on it. We're yeah. probably going to be hauling it into some less than perfect terrain you, you know build up the sport to almost the specs of a rebel aside from the tires yeah and the rebel sits even at its normal ride height is, is about an inch taller than the sport to begin with so you're already getting a little bit extra clearance anyway with the air suspension it's going to auto level for you when you're trailering whether you put the load in the back or on the trailer it'll do all the work for you and just keep it nice and level yeah yeah see this is what i was talking about earlier boys with the, the dirty old waders and stuff like that you could just stuff them right in the side and uh Leave the mess outside. See, you know, that's cool for the boys when they got soft tires and uh, we carry a compressor yeah, right here and, and plug it in. Plug it or in uh, trying to reseat tires and stuff like that. Yeah. That's killer. So this is super handy. It's one of the nice things that, that Ram has done to add a little more uh, utility to the truck. Big time. So, and, uh, another small thing that they did, you know how you buy a nice off-road truck and then you have to go buy like liners for the floors? This one here. Yeah, it's got They've the weather tech job. integrated, yes. So exactly. you could basically spill a drink, boys, and not stain your carpets is what you're saying, Sean. It's a small thing, but it's nice to have awesome. right out from factory instead of having to order them after the fact. Absolutely. You I looked that, at uh, getting weather tech. for the lunch or some uh, yeah. water or bottle? You got a, some... Uh, yeah, we were looking at that at the Little coolers in there, floor coolers, There's and they're beautiful. removable so you can clean them. Yep. Okay. Very cool. And something else they did nice in the back here. This is up. You have storage as it sits. Yeah. This can actually pop out. A little bit more, more stuff underneath. That's cool. Man, I, don't oh, I love the flat. The whole flat yeah. thing is just awesome for cargo boys. Like you can get some of the, the wife's smaller furniture in there without worrying about. We got a, uh, an extra foot of space in the back here from the previous model. So I drove it up here. I'm 6'2. Right? So that's uh, cool. You got a couple of passengers that are going to be comfortable. Oh, you don't got to sell me on it, man. That's crazy roomy. Crazy roomy. And I got three full grown boys <laughs> all in their teenage years. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, take the whole you family out to dinner with plenty of space. Spot monitoring and uh, uh, for sensors, assistance, yeah. lane change, all that stuff. So it's super safe. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I know so that a lot. On the front and uh, nice aggressive sport grill. Oh, oh, this one's flashier than the sport. That's pretty sharp. Yeah, right on, man. I like it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> wow. It's got a little more panache than the sport. He was just saying that. Just a small thing. Yeah, Troy was just saying that too. They blocked up the tips and he went out of his way to get the wife's done. Yeah. yeah. But even that, and it's, it's like the old 18 model, this was all LED and the whole thing blinked. Now they've added these nice. Yeah, for sure. But you know, I'd rather see these nice bright amber lights blinking yeah. than the whole thing flashing red. Yeah, this truck is full on. Check out, man. Loaded got the roof in it too we were looking at this one earlier in the lot boys it makes you want to spend more money he says eh great I like it well we'll have to get out in it and do a little uh test drive and see what we think of the uh rebel that's awesome Sean really appreciate you taking the time to walk around it with yeah, me man and uh letting us drag a couple trucks up and take sure. them out that's awesome much appreciated yeah. Well, I think this one, from all the trucks that we have, and for what you guys are looking for and what you plan to do with it, um, I think that's going to check most of the boxes for you. It's a perfect fit for the channel.
Bye. 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 Bye.